morning from Shergao Island. We've been here for about seven days now. We've been doing island hopping tours, went to Cloud9 and surfed, did the rope swing on the island. And today we're gonna actually head up north to the only waterfall on Shergao Island, which is called Tok Tok Waterfall. And then we're gonna go to a very beautiful beach up there and maybe end our day with the sunset. Filipinos and everyone watching, we need your help. We're gonna be in the Philippines for another 50 days. So we want you guys to tell us where the most beautiful islands are. We've already been to El Nido, Coron, Dumaguete, Siquijor, but we're looking for the new and best and most beautiful places. So comment down below. Well, the ATM seemed to be a big issue here in Shergao. There's these things called Euronet ATMs and they accept international cards, but the problem is they make you pay a 15% fee. So basically they take 15% of your money. It's very sad. There's also a BDO that you can use, but it does not accept Visa, so in our case, it doesn't help at all, but if you have a MasterCard, I would definitely go to the BDO. Otherwise, just bring a lot of money before you come to Sharegao so you can avoid these expensive international fees. Hey, I want to speak to Anna's mom and dad. She's making me wear the helmet. She doesn't like it. I don't want to look like a bad boyfriend, I swear. Oh, someone stole the other helmet. But I should be giving her mine. Well, what's the point of that? One of us could die, and I don't want it to be you. Definitely run into a little problem. My phone ran out of service a while back. Kind of lost. Three corners, and then we take a left, and we go straight, and we'll be there. If you get lost anywhere in the Philippines, just ask the locals. They're very nice. Majority speak English, so it's very easy. After a long, long drive, about an hour and 30 minutes, my butt is hurting. But we finally made it to Tok Tok Waterfalls. We paid 25 pesos each. Uh, I forgot to tell you guys that I got really sick last night. I don't really feel good. Well, Anna's not feeling so hot. I'm blaming the Tandawai we've been drinking here in the Philippines. We still love you, Tandawai. We just need a day off. We did not really expect this. It's like a little reservoir, man-made. And then the waterfall right there. It's, it's flowing, don't get me wrong. We made our way here for two hours. We're going for a swim. We'll see how cold it is. Oh, thank God, the sun came out. We have made it. Woo! It actually feels really good. If you can hear me right now. Woo! Woo! Cannonball. A bunch of local kids here on Sharegao are now swimming and jumping like crazy. They are scaring me to death. Now they've just swum to the waterfall and climbed it. Oh! A quick stop at the waterfall. It was fun watching the kids jump around everywhere. Now we're gonna head and get maybe a little snack, food, if we could find some up here. We'll have to see. What's up, little guy? We gave him our cards, look it. You gotta have a business card now if you're a YouTuber. You wanna say hello? Hi, hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. They're the best at jumping at the hello. waterfall. Hello. What's your name? I'm Ian. What's your name? Cardo. Cardo. What's your name? Anna. <laughs> Woo! We have a little gang here now. Hey guys, can you give me a wood wood? These guys are crazy. And now just do this. There you go. You're already a vlogger. What's your name? We're gonna need some translation from you uh, Filipinos, what they're saying, we have no idea. It was a good time to leave the waterfall because it's raining right now. All the kids are leaving, that's when you know it's time to go because there's no fun without the kids. finally made it to a little city called Allegria where a guy named Jackson Groves, Journey Era, it's a blog and he does a lot of Southeast Asia. He said Allegria Beach is one of the most beautiful around Shergo Island. Starting with our banana smoothies. Very nice. I'm really hungry. What'd you get, Anne? Chicken fajitas. 
And I got spicy chicken adobo. Anna will probably try some of mine because that's her favorite Filipino dish. Yes, and I like to always try your food. So, so good. But look who's looking at us. I know you want some. Anna will probably give you some. Oh my gosh, Anna got a full buffet over here. Thank you so Here's much. Here's her chicken fajitas. That meal was so good. But finally, I understand why we drove about two hours up north in Shergao. And this beach is why. You don't get this type of beach down near Cloud Nine or anything. This is just white sand, really, really blue water. Reminds us of the tours kind of that we did the other day. I've been shaking since the waterfall. So we're just gonna lay out for like 20 minutes till I warm up because I'm so cold. <laughs> Just so you know, Shergao is a surfing capital of the Philippines. That means that it's windy on all parts of the island mostly. Be ready to be a bit chilly if it's not sunny out. Make sure to bring some tan to wire red horse. That'll make your time even way better. other people it is so crazy how deserted this place is and how beautiful it is if you like to chill definitely head up north and go to this beach you will be the only one there well my favorite part of this whole beach not only the beautiful water and the white sand but this palm tree it's my friend it's small enough for me to climb it has slits in it kind of like the palm tree rope swing if you didn't see that video click up right here let's do it I was born to be a monkey and knew it yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna break my leg, oh my gosh. Sorry I haven't been as hyper or active today. I've just been really tired and I apologize. She is the cutest little bug, isn't she? I think we all forgive her, you know? Everyone needs a day off. Right now we're gonna head back, but before we do, we're gonna stop at a little city called Del Carmen and right there on the coast are a bunch of mangroves and for sunset, I guess it's an insane reflection on the water. We might be able to go for a little boat ride with a local, no promises though, okay? We just showed up at the Del Carmen Wharf here and it's surrounded by mangroves out there. It also says that there's saltwater crocs out there, the biggest in the world. That was surprising to me. Look at the sign over here right when we showed up. Protect yourself from coronavirus. That's when you know it's a big issue. There's a lot of fish in there. This is the type of boat we want to take out there in the mangroves. I'm going to ask them. Unfortunately, we couldn't find a fisherman to take us for our sunset quick thing that we wanted to do. So we're just kind of enjoying the sunset on our own instead. All right, we're gonna end the video here, guys. Those drone shots, though. You see that above the mangroves. Tomorrow, we're going on a Sahotan Cove tour. It's a pretty famous tour here in Shergao. They compare it to El Nido or Caron, so we'll be able to tell you guys if it's even comparable, how beautiful it is. If you liked that video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Anna says don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Yip, yip, rip, riba, riba, wood, wood, rip, 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 r